Hi guys, here with the uh, Psycho Relics, and just going to tell me about how they've been getting on through lockdown and their plans for 2021. Uh, hi guys, thanks very much for being here. Thank you for having us, dude. How you doing? Good, thanks guys. How are you doing? Not too bad, thank you. Yeah, all good. All good, man. Awesome. Um, yeah, first of all, I guess if you can just give us a little bit of a background to Psycho Relics and how you have started out. Me and Harrison went to school together, uh, and we, then we played in a two-piece for a couple of years uh, in and around Birmingham. Um, and then we sort of kind of got to a point where we wanted to extend, like expand our live sound. Uh, so we thought we'd go to Brighton to do that and get some more members. Um, and then we met our, our bassist, Dan Prido, first. Uh, then we met our drummer, Sam Morley, actually on Gay Pride weekend. Then um, Ed Prido, we met on our first gig, actually, as a four piece. And we, he happened to turn up. So we met him there. Do you write the songs or do you generally write stuff as a band or how does that work? Yeah, usually me and Dee will like come up with a, um, the main bulk of the song. Or yeah, we'll write the whole thing and then yeah, bring it to the band and then flesh it out there. Um, but yeah, it's mostly me and Dee that do, well, me and Dee, yeah, do most of the writing and yeah, yeah throw in there like two pennies when we get into the room. And how has the um, move been to Brighton then? Obviously, last year's been a bit of a, a nightmare, but is there definitely more sort of opportunity and things there for, for musicians? Yeah, yeah. We're, the, we're from like quite a small small town originally, and there's not a lot going on. So there was the nearest place was Birmingham. Um, but Brighton kind of has a, a, a much more bigger scene where we fit into. So there's a lot more opportunity for our sort of music to thrive and get some, you know, make some noise and get some fans and yeah, it's good. You started releasing the first sort of songs um, last year in 2020. How was it releasing stuff and essentially starting a new band during lockdown? It was probably a better way to do it because considering that, you know, no one really knew when it all first started, when the pandemic first started, um, how long it was going to be. It just sort of felt like, oh, well, we might as well release something, do something. Otherwise we played one show and then we've just been like stagnant and not doing anything for, well, what would have been now like a, a year. So it was just good to keep trying to keep ourselves motivated and keep trying to write more stuff and record and just keep ourselves busy. So yeah, re releasing stuff last year, I think was just the best thing to do for, for anyone is just try and keep themselves busy because you can't play any shows, obviously. Does lockdown influence your songwriting and yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's because you've got nothing else to do, like you can't get together and practice. So you might as well try and stick your mind to trying to craft a better song, better lyrics, better, you know, just a better song in general. Um, so yeah, it, I think it's, it's probably helped in that, in terms of just having more time to flesh stuff out. Yeah, um, especially at the start, when, we, when the first lockdown was kind of, it was like, oh, great, I've got all this free time to, you know, focus on music and writing. Um, so it was really good at the start. But I think now I find it more personally, I find it more difficult now because it's kind of, I don't, I don't know, you're in the same room constantly. And it's like it's hard to find any sort of creative influence being in the same house and the same routine day in, day out, you know. So routine has got a big thing to do with it. Yeah. Um, even like just like small interactions with people or hearing conversations that sometimes can like maybe give you a little idea here or there you're not getting any of that really yeah. so yeah I agree with Dean that term in the like it's a lot harder now at the start yeah you got obsessed with stuff and it was quite fun whereas now I'm yeah. so bored of writing songs <laughs> yeah and we don't we don't live together anymore we used to live together so that was helpful being yeah. in the same house you can kind of bounce off each other but we now we're living apart it's like you don't even have that so it's just it's just a bit more difficult to to get creative now so many bands did songs about isolation and quarantine at the start as well that that kind of like got almost yeah, yeah. saturated as well so they don't want to <coughs> do too much there yeah, yeah no, man. definitely man we wrote like a, a pandemic song and then i like we, it was a pretty decent song as pandemic songs go. And uh, yeah. I was like, wow, this is a sort of subject that you can just, like a pinata, you can just hit the fuck out of it and get yeah. loads of candy. But no, you're right, it gets very boring after the first song.
yeah. writing about lockdown and sitting in a room. And what's the sort of plans going forward? Obviously, things some well, hopefully good news that we'll be back from gigs sort of June wise. Have you got anything planned? Yeah, just just gig, man. Just that's what we want to do. Is just gig. <laughs> that as soon as we can, just kind of um, we've got we've got a few uh, plans for recording wise. Again, we want to we're gonna we want to record a few a few new songs, um, but because we've been, you know, deprived from it for so long, the main focus at the moment is just being able to play live again. So as soon as we can, it's just going to be, yeah, gig, 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 you know? Especially because we are a, a relatively new band as well, and we've only had one gig as a band. So we want to just get get on it, you know, as soon as we can. Yeah, play live, just play live as much and as, yeah, as much as we can get away with playing live. Just yeah. try and do that and then focus on recording and all that when it when it comes around to it. So you've been quite lucky then in being able to rehearse, so you're pretty much ready to go when, when gigs are back and stuff like that? No, because of the sort of the um, third lockdown, that sort of put a scupper to all our plans of rehearsing new songs. Um, so, yeah, I need to get back in the practice room and get practicing as a band again, because, yeah, like you said, we've just not had it. Yeah. <laughs> like nothing and for months. The other, you know, the other thing is as well, is like, like we said, we wrote, we wrote a quite a few, we wrote at least five or six new songs during lockdown. So we've had like no opportunity to practice those new songs because of lockdown, you know. So it's, it's getting those, it's sort of polishing off the songs that we already knew and then also introducing the new ones. And so I think realistically, we kind of, we'll be hopefully gigging sort of October time, you know, because in terms of like practicing enough and being ready to, get back on stage again who would you guys sort of say is your biggest influences then as songwriters oh as songwriters that's a good one in terms of like music i always it's straight to like the 50s and 60s and 70s um early rock and roll and psych rock and garage rock and then going into the 70s with the heavier rock but like in terms of songwriters i don't know that's pretty good i've never really thought about that no. I've been listening to a lot of country music at the moment. So a lot of like Waylon and Willie. They're probably my favourite at the moment, but I couldn't say in terms of psycho relics. Yeah, man, song songwriting uh, influences are is a tricky one. But in we've we're big uh, we're big fans of the doors in terms of like a band and our sound. We we take a lot of influences from the doors sound. Uh and then I'm a I'm a big Rolling Stones fan as well. So I guess you can say I guess I could say I get a lot of influence from their writing style as well. So, but yeah, no, that's a, that's, I don't know. That's a tough one. Yeah. That's, that's probably all I can say. Cool. Well, uh, thanks very much guys. That was awesome. Thanks very much for talking to me today. No, no worries, dude. Thank cool. you for, uh, yeah. Thanks for taking the time out to uh, have a song. Yeah, man. Thanks for having us. You too guys. And um, yeah, all the best. You've got the new, two new singles out and all the best for yeah, gigs yeah, coming man. back and getting stuff recorded. Yeah, dude. Hopefully, uh, yeah, we'll be up, be up in London way soon. Yeah. Awesome.